Oh. She said, I have about $20,000 student debt, but I didn't even finish college. So, the school fees that Brother Barnett will not be paying. No, it's nothing to show for his degree. Nothing to show, no certificate, nothing. No paper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Life with Shine. Uh, today is a completely different kind of episode on today's one we're doing something really special but before we get into that you're gonna meet my friends chips the bad way hi guys so this is chipo chichi and me on ig chapo and yes it's chapo choppy elevator mm -hmm. and yeah as per usual Lincoln, no, Lincoln, this is lucky baby you met her in the last video it's lucky baby, baby. Her Instagram is gonna be in the link below like it was last time and she posts as well. You don't need to follow Chipo. You actually kinda do. You act to be honest, for good content, go Chipo's page. <laughs> 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 Who helps that? Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we're back with a different kind of video today. This is going to be a review. So for those of you that know what's going on, you've probably checked out Love is Blind. That's where Love is Blind on Netflix. Some of y'all were too late to get on the show, but I mean, we move, Sha. We are here to talk to you <laughs> about the good, the bad, the ugly, the worst, the better, the everything, man. We're here to talk to you about essentially just our opinions on the entire show and the madness that will go, the bad booze, everything. We're going to talk about it. So yeah. In no particular order, yeah. we're gonna start with <coughs> Kelly and Kenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Kelly and Kenny are quite Oh, yeah, KK. 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 <laughs> hey, me, Kelly and Kenny. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like every single time I watch an episode, I skipped their part. I'm not like up until like episode five and six, I wasn't really paying attention to them. I just I feel like they never them. had a connection, they were just boring. They never had a connection. All they talked about was work and what. All they did was make out. After they, they would leave, you yeah. know, ah, will you marry me? From there, ah, kissing up and down. I didn't pay attention then, to the same Just course. never made sense. Like, to be honest, they, they were, they they were kind of insignificant. Like, first off, they really, I swear, they had low ass screen time. I swear, these niggas weren't giving them screen time. And I'm, to be honest, I'm happy they didn't because they didn't really have anything to offer us, right? They really didn't. So yeah, that's about Kelly and Kenny. The only time I started paying attention to Kelly and Kenny was when they had gone gone back into the real world. They had met their parents and whatnot, whatnot. Their parents are actually so cool. No, but Kenny really tried to be honest. Yeah, he did. Kenny, he tried. Kenny it was just Kelly who just she, was she closed didn't off. Have, no, she didn't yeah, have yeah. physical attraction. Even the physical, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. she was looking attraction. for Tani. What did she call it? I she said she was. She was not as infatuated. She was not as infatuated, infatuated. She was not as, as infatuated in him. And she was Kelly. Ex. Please wait. Let me let's Google now. Explain the meaning of. Hold on. Infatuation in the dictionary mm? because what I know is that infatuation is not really the greatest trait to have. I swear, you're not supposed to be infatuated by someone, but Kelly is trying to be infatuated by the person she's getting married to. Sis, wake up! Infatuation, an intense but short lived passion or admiration for someone or something. Short lived, sister. Marriage is a lifelong aspect, it is supposed to be. A lifelong commit so the whole inf that infatuation you are looking for God will give it to you because at the end of the day you cannot you are looking for long term commitments you are looking for short term infatuation you are just looking to be to be excited by this person's physical attributes we're not saying the person is not supposed to look you know the person is not supposed to satisfy yeah, you think you like lucky. Yeah, the person is not supposed to be, I mean, obviously you're supposed to be attracted to your partner, but it's not a fear of infatuation. Attraction and infatuation know the difference. When when they got to the altar and she said, oh, to be honest, I knew from the very beginning that she was going to say no. I mean, where, because her whole family, that's why I said her family is actually so great. Like her whole family recognized that Kenny was actually trying his best. Her sister was even giving her the whole pep talk on how like, you, we know like you're usually based on physical attraction, but this is marriage. This is something else. But and that that's the best man she's ever saw. Told. She does not understand exactly. They told that's the best man, but no, infatuation over the bad boys. Okay, 
You want to play games, Gabby? Yeah. Bad, bad boys, boys, bad boys. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Now, when they come for you, you're gonna end. It's gonna. It's all gonna end in tears. It's gonna end in tears because that's somebody that was offering you love on a platter of gold. I mean, he wanted to go for infatuation. So you're an infatuation. You marry yourself. Moving on. Uh, next couple we're gonna be talking about Carlton and Diamond. These ones, <laughs> Diamond and Carlton, both of them were just on a totally different P. Both of them were, as per Carlton was, first of all, Carlton was not being honest. Like, if you're trying to get married to somebody, from the get go, this person has to know the essentials about you. Like, you can't be proposing to somebody when the person doesn't know you, number one. Number two, you can't be proposing to somebody that you haven't told the truth. Like, you expect this person to spend forever with you when the person doesn't even know you. That's off guard, number one. And then on Diamond's part, it was fine that she wasn't comfortable with him not being honest, but it was a bit confusing because on the night when she told, when he told her about his whole sexuality and whatnot, she was being so supportive and being like, oh, I'm gonna be here, whatever you get. He was even telling her, Oh, you're not going to be able to stand it. And she was being on a peer of, Oh, yeah, I'll be able to, you know, take it and whatnot, whatnot. I'm here for you, I'm here for you. And next morning, she's deep teeth and she's like, Man, <laughs> I'm not having none of that. But I don't know why Carlton got didn't, angry in yeah. the sense of you, you didn't have, I'm sorry, yes, you were offended by her reaction the next day, but considering what you did, you didn't exactly have the right to be angry no but to be fair she did because say, i need time to think about it so but I don't, he, why I don't feel like he had the right to be angry because in in that way of where you didn't tell someone about your sexuality your, sexu your sexuality is the biggest part oh, of you we're working together i must be when and is, then, is he looking at that guy or, or that is girl? he looking at that girl which one is he mm. looking at you you just have to be open about these things whether it's good reaction whether it's bad reaction whether you know the truth hurts or maybe you know it's too tight for other people just tell the person the truth beforehand not when it's already too late yeah those two are a bit crazy um mark and jessica <laughs> first of all mark Foolishness. looks like momo from penguins of madagascar man mark was there's two things number one he's not the most attractive person no offense to you mark those eyes man. um mm -hmm. But imagine waking up to eyes like this. Number two is a pee of you. You are just the way. We're in here. That's what you are. You are a momo. See, they use you to sweep the ground, and you fall. You are mad. You are say, saying, "Oh, she fell back to me." How can somebody know why he you? said? Well, that made me laugh because he was like, "When things get tough, I you fight." Said, when things get tough, I fight. What are you, Oshie warrior? <laughs> ha! Half forces of the nation. Security guard, continue to fight war front. They will kill you in the war front. Go to some bitter forest if you are looking for where to fight. Because on a serious piece, somebody as per this babe as per Jessica, I'll get to you. I'll get to you later. When he opens his mouth to talk, all she sees is a twenty-three. I mean, how old was he? Twenty-four year old. Twenty-four year old no, unemployed. He, she always tries to find a problem. Being. Like she, she always found a problem. Like, like every time we went back to age. Twenty-three year old unemployed human being. Then besides that, she's really. On a aspect, she's not in any way physically attracted to you. As well, it took her this long to come around, and even when she did, she was still she still kept talking about how on a normal day you're not the kind of guy she would go for. So why are you still chasing? Like what are you chasing there? The baby's not attracted to you. She's not into you in any way, shape, or form. Keep moving. Just cut your catchphrase. The whole, the whole, the entire series. I know we're gonna have a lot of challenges in the real world. But I wouldn't change anything about him. In the real world. In the real world. In the real, in the real world. world. Auntie, what did you come to look Jessica for? Jessica 2020 in the real world. What did you come to, Why are you on the show? If you are, Why didn't you stay in the real world? We know you are Tessie. <laughs> Omo Dadanie, you are the oldest one. Ancient of days. Why did you carry yourself to the show? You are looking at 20... Well, the youngest person there was Mark, which was 20... 23. 24. 24. The 24 year old, you, Iyalaya, Thirty something, I'll be for something. I don't know how old you are, but then you carried yourself into the midst of young people. What were you expecting? Yes, and we understand that in the real world. Yes, we understand you have a life of your own, which you have to live. Period. If you come to a show, you better be down for the rules of the game. If you're going to play the game, you have to comply with the rules of the game. Usually, in the real world, in the real world. No, but like I, for Jessica, she was being too picky Man. where she lacks options. You are thirty-four. Your eggs are drying up. First, your I'm eggs fair. are drying up. As in, you are you are, you are running out of options. That's why you're on the show. You know, you understand. You're running out of options. The only option they've given you on that one show. 
but I wasn't really understanding how there was two people that I were actually liking this Jessica Babe. Like, huh? What the one that killed me was when somebody said, "Oh, they love their voice." What about Jessica's voice is there to love? Um, but it's okay. But I, do you still feel the same about me? Do you still me? feel the same about um, me? It should have been clear to Mark from night. the moment that she came back or went to Barnett and came back from there and then. It's so crazy. Like it's a it should of, ring in your head. Mark was Alarms. doing ride or die, but I Mark. Just, I don't know. For me, I think that just proves how I don't know insecure he is. Both of them, I yeah, both of them are on a totally different pedestal. As per both of you are, are in two different stages of your life. Nigga, you are young. As per you're not that young, but you still have so much of your life to live. Sis is, is she's aged. Of days. She's aged. That's what she is. Therefore, she's going to look for somebody who's at the same level of life with her so that they can work towards their goals or whatnot. As per, did you see her face when she came to Mark's yard? I said when she entered his house and she saw like games and whatnot and she's like, oh, this is, is this what, what you do, okay? I'm like, oh, oh shit. Then let's move on to Auntie Jessica and her hygiene. Jessica, please. Yes, dogs are nice, you know, pets and whatnot. Ah, uh, you gave me wine and drunk from the same cup. Sis, you are drinking wine. You carry your wine. You gave the dog. Don't. Mark, Mark, this is where you're supposed to... At this point, I expected your, your senses to click. Because somebody's... She's there. Mm? This dog, she's giving wine to the dog from the glass. She did not give you. She didn't give you. She's giving more attention. She didn't carry the cup and you. give you. She said she was more comfortable sharing a, a glass with her dog. Oh boy. <laughs> they reduce you to this level. Oh. This is the dog. This is you. Oh, Puma, <laughs> this is the dog. This is you. Because she feels comfortable sharing a glass with, 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 her, with her dog. She didn't give you shit. You entered her house, school, so She didn't offer you drills. She didn't give you ice. She didn't give you biscuits. Even granola, she did not give you. <laughs> and you are sitting down there. You are still following her up and down and forming a fighter. Was she a warrior now? I don't know who sent him to even go to that altar in the first place. Because I feel like everybody that watched This Love is Blind knew from the very get-go that she, did, she was did. never going to say yes. There was no way on the planet. I mean, she's too real in the world to be able to say yes to something like that. She was either worrying about their age difference, worrying about his height, worrying about his physical appearance, Worrying about some, worrying about the Sexual kids they're going to have. Worrying about like she was too busy worrying about as well. She just worries. The only thing is you're gonna make someone dress up, get ready, get to you the know, yeah, and get married today. Only for you to come and say no. Do you know? From the beginning, no, but like no. Mark was warned before. It's not like his best. Your best friend told you this woman does not have your best interest at heart. Even and you went and told your best friend he wouldn't understand what you have. What you have is something that everyone in the real world is not. Okay. Right on, Uncle. Thumbs up to you. Next couple, we're going on to Barnett and Amber. <laughs> Dead. Amber is very. You are gosh. calling dead to your life. Dead. Barnett. Dead. dead. <laughs> but go fund me is going go to be open for you very go soon fund we feel for you my brother go fund i swear guys please in the comment section we are gonna need to begin a go for he's gonna need it he's gonna because school is so king baron they don't hear english they told barnett that this girl is too loud this girl is too i swear see here one thing is your family isn't always right but your family knows you and there's things that men, especially because that love is blind pee. Love is blind. Well, I'm not talking about the show now. I'm just, I just mean when you actually do feel things for somebody, some half of the time you become blind to their, to their, to their, their idiocy aspect. Their <coughs> senselessness, you become blind to their senselessness. So it was a pee of your family could tell aspect there was something wrong with this. How can somebody tell you they have? Twenty wasn't it twenty thousand dollars? So she owes um student loan twenty k. Your student loan is there. Make up the only card, the only <laughs> I, bank no, card. What killed me was the max was seven hundred on her card and she spent eight hundred. The only bank card you have in the entire planet. Make up, make up. No mortgage, no no property rent. to your name. No, you. you are not even spending it on maybe gadgets. Nothing. No job. Make up. And you know the worst part? I was now looking for the eyebrows. Where is the makeup that she now does? Where is the waist? You are dead. I swear, the death you are dragging on your butt. Do you know the cra- oh, oh. She said, I have about $20,000 student debt, but I didn't even finish college. So, the school fees that Brother Barnett will not be paying. No, it's nothing to show for it. Nothing to show, no certificates, nothing, no paper, you have No, because she, she, she works to live 
and doesn't live to work. Since you have nothing to show, as per, you are not African. You they're not stable. African. No, but they're not stable. Both like both of them unstable in one way or another. That's why they move for each other. Um, what's his face? Barnett is a frat boy at heart. That that's typically the type of girl he would. Go yeah, for. but it's a P of it's a P of as per. It's just this is just coming from a place of pity. Because they are gonna drive themselves. They're going to drive. Like, it's already them. bad enough. Like her mother was crying tears of joy. It wasn't tears of oh my child is getting. It, it was, was oh someone's scene. taking on the troubles that. Like I've you think about disease. you have nothing. Sis, I mean, we are in the century of independence. Uh, young woman, independent. Are you talking about me? independent? Are you talking about death? Stay in wife. You, you know when they were when they came out to the real world they were going to the guys and the girls houses did you see how oh even um cameron and lauren went lauren's house they all went to each other's house they went jessica's house they went everybody's house nothing to show for it since you don't have a house you don't have a roof over your aspect nothing to cover I, nothing no, to she show had you. no that's what did you say what did she say she said this is the house that me and barnett are going to raise out yes me. there's one bed yes one. i swear she had the effort to open her mouth and say oh I, I'm so I happy. I'm so happy. I have seen this is where yes, yes, me and Barnett are going to our raise our house. home together. Where are the children going to sleep? Might as well call it my house now. You know, this is, this is yes. She might as well have stayed in the army. To what's in it now? To what's in it? Stay Marriage wife. came. They say wedding day. You now said, ah. she said, oh, the dress is going to have an increase in price. Increase in price, which do, uh, I want real flowers. See, I want know, real flowers. The you know, my, dress. my parents have already done so It wasn't much. even the increase in price. No, that's what that's what annoyed me when she said my parents have done so much. Price. It was the fact that you don't okay still the one that will pay for your increase in price. Your parents should not pay for the wedding. They have done so much for she you. She deserves a cut house. My wedding. parents did not do so much for that's me. I don't have parents. I'm not fan. Huh? Your parents have done so much for you, but you want real flowers. You want the dress is going to cost like eight, eight hundred and fifty more. Yeah, months. my bridesmaid dresses. I need to order them. I was like, mm. sis, <laughs> you deserve a good house wedding. Guys, this is all, all the barnets in the world. This is a general message for you. Please protect yourselves. Please, Pro when they say protection, there is not just the rubber. Protect your insurance, everything, insure your life because Barnett is living in a one bedroom apartment. Only him and that his dog. And now another person is going to move inside there with all her problems. But that's where you're blind. <laughs> you're not just supporting your children, you're supporting your children and your wife. As for your father is laughing blind. At the you can be blind to somebody's imperfections, but I don't see how you can be blind to a twenty thousand dollar <coughs> debt. Twenty thousand dollar plus the remaining <coughs> eight hundred from mix makeup. Man, damn. And do, keep in mind, there's what's Plus wedding expenses. Not just wedding expenses. That. You know when you have debt, there's that increase in... Um, what's that you're supposed to pay? Interest. See, Barnett. Interest debt. See, oh. you are going to be paying money to day, is that? Hmm? You know what? How Maybe you it's just that shuffling two jobs because your wife even will put her mouth to say that she <gasps> doesn't want to stay, stay at, at home. home. And he didn't sign a prenup. Stay at home, mom. Stay at home. See, this is your pocket. Hmm? If you get divorced, just, it's gone. Uh, there's a hole inside. Money is just going to be sitting through. Don't bother to collect salary. Just tell your company, see, eh? at the end of the month, this one is for her debt. This one is for her makeup. This one is for, because money is just going to be sipping through different channels. Good luck to you and your family. Moving on. Um, Damien and Giannina. <laughs> Giannina. Giannina, you are, angry. you are rude. You are angry. You are rude. You are misbehavior. You are misdemeanor. And you are a child. You are everything. You are rude. Giannina, she's you a are child. a baby. You are a child. <laughs> hey! You're a child. You should have gone to Love Island. I don't because, even know why. I mean, there. Love Island is not for marriage. Love Island is just, you know, relation. And this you marriage, are one year older than Mark. You are not ready for like marriage. This. You are really not Koleso. How they put business owner on that her page, God understand. Because Giannina, you are a child. Child, uh, hey, every small thing tantrum. You throw more tantrums than my five year old. Cousin. What the actual hell? You know, when you say this, she said, When you said this is the best, best sex of your life, like her, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. You are sleep. This nigga, man, Damien, I give you a thumbs up. But you look like a psychopath. I give you a thumbs up. Like a he looks like he can you look like you can snap, but I give you props for holding yourself. Thank you, God. I swear, just give me it's a handshake because 
for you as per just that's the best decision you ever made in your life i don't know you from anywhere but i on god that's the best decision ever because you would have as per you you look like you you've got your life together because you're so mature you've got everything under control but that girl was going to make you snap as per one day you would just lose it because people like that just know how to push buttons that people always screaming at the guy as per see respect is reciprocal listen to me respect is reciprocal as per don't come there and be doing nonsense Babe, he was going to flip on you one day. He even saved your life. Don't be walking away because you're too immature for that, I beg. You're actually too immature. And everybody's face. From the first day she stepped into that booth, oh, we knew it was, a, it was a life love. See, love at first sight, that's it. We knew it was first a was. lifelong thing because nigga was like, oh... Man, oh boy, cringe. Y'all are go when they say goals, you know, definitely not go as a goals. They had the greatest challenge in front of them. We always underestimate it, but being an interracial couple can be the Man. most challenging yeah. thing in life. Somebody is fully faced with a peer of constant aspect giving birth to your kids and your kids are not seen as being equal as everybody else's child just because they're mixed we're talking about you walking on the street and you can't hold your babe's hand because some idiots is looking at you from the corner of the street we're talking of real life challenges people say and you're giving up your blackness to that's the, the definition of maturity yeah. and that's the definition of love is blind this person comes with their baggage this person comes with challenges but you're both able to work together and you know find a common ground this babe and this guy are from two total aspect their worlds are like this their worlds apart but they were both mature and they both had mature minds they were able to bridge the gap between both of themselves and they were able to work now they're married that's a banging aspect it's a banging a bang on cameron even up until when they had their bachelor's party, the guys in the house kept talking about it. Cameron was the most mature guy yeah, in the yeah, entire yeah. house. So cool. I don't even know which one is more lucky, Cameron or Lauren, because both of you are just banging. As per, as individuals, you are amazing. Perfect. People. As per, y'all are both mature. That's the only. You're focused. Couple. You're both working. As per, Cameron is a rich ass nigga. As per, you're both working. As per. You both have, and that's, to be honest, that's what love is about. Like, that's what love ought to be. Two individuals that are independent on their own, as they're independent and sufficient in themselves, coming together to form something that's out of this world. That's, that's what they have there. The only couple that I feel didn't, like, the, the connection wasn't forced. It wasn't natural. forced. Like, was like, yes, they were faced with problems. Yes, Lauren had her doubts. Yes, and obviously somebody was going to have their doubts. Like I said, they were faced with the greatest challenge in life, man. But they were still able to work it out. Like, they had the same time frame as everybody else. But you can see the difference. That's what maturity does, period. Like, nobody can even tell me anything. Because these are two individuals that have lives on their own. Do you see how uncomfortable Lauren was with the thought of how she had to move into somebody's house and share space with... Compare that to Auntie Ashley, that does not have anything to her name. Amber. Her Amber, Bittany, Amber, that doesn't have anything to her name. This babe was so, as per the thoughts of even moving out of her own space, something she's built for herself, into another man's house, to cause discomfort to him and herself, was even a huge challenge. That's what we're talking about. Man, you guys are the real OGs. Forget, as per, as long as this love is blind thing goes on for y'all are the OGs. As per, from the very, on. to be honest, from the very get go, you guys banged up until the very end. And your wedding, it's a real one. That's some real ass P, man. Y'all should wake up. There was no other, apart from them Kelly and Kenny, and that was just because their parents also dated for a short period of times. There was no other couple <laughs> where the parents actually did like the other person. Keep it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was captivating to watch. It, it really was. I mean, <laughs> I love the drama now. I like to see. Not that like I like people down for, but looking at people like Barnett and Co. I was entertained. That was entertaining, and it was captivating. I mean, you were actually able to see that man. Sometimes this kind of thing can work out. Like people like Cameron and uh, what's her name, Lauren. They were actually able to make it work. 
yeah but then at the same time you see challenges with everyday life you see challenges in the real world according to this, jessica um, 2020 jessica 2020 man but yeah bless you guys for watching uh let's talk in the comment section tell me um you all should tell me what you thought about um all of the couples and if you haven't watched love is blind you better go and watch it because i don't know what you're waiting for it's really not that long just go and watch it trust me it's really entertaining um yeah don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'm pretty sure you did trust me like trust comment me subscribe comment and yeah, turn on your notification it. bell so you bell. know so anytime you she posts subscribe to the channel and stay blessed Play the stress. Right.